LVGEL is a terrific dry socket medicament. This stuff literally, within two minutes of placing it, will take a patient who's presented to you with some of the most severe dental pain they've had in their life, as they described to you, that hasn't been touched by ibuprofen or acetaminophen, and suddenly they're back to about a two or three on the pain scale. And this pain goes away for about a day or two before sometimes they may be back to see you, or that's maybe all we need. They're back to managing things with ibuprofen and all is well. So for those of you who can access Alveagil, I'm aware that this product can't be accessed everywhere. For those of you who can access it, like it, or maybe want to try it, then we're going to talk about what's in it, how it works. Basically, Alveagil is a combination of a few things. So it has butamin in it, which is an anesthetic. It's got iodoform in it, which is a disinfectant. And it has eugenol in it, which acts as an analgesic. Now, these three things are kind of soaked onto a medium, which is a fern plant. So it's fern fibers that are indigenous to Sumatra, Indonesia. Now, I don't know why they can't find something maybe a little more native to, say, North America or somewhere where we're at, but that's where it comes from. So these are rare plants that are in Indonesia that happen to be maybe the best substrate for holding this stuff. So when you open this up or when we open this up, what we're going to see are these long, brown, slimy fibers that are all kind of woven together in a little bit of a clump. And this stuff actually smells really potent and it tastes really potent, kind of like cloves. So you can warn your patient beforehand before you use it. What I will do is, as we talked about in our other video, I'll irrigate that socket, get everything cleaned out. I'll then grab this Alvia Jill and we'll open this up to show you what it looks like. This is it. So it doesn't look very appetizing, but and it doesn't smell very appetizing either. This stuff here, we'll pull it out. You take basically 0.2 grams, they say. Now don't ask me how much that is because I haven't weighed this, but it's gonna be less than this. So usually what we'll do is we'll put a piece in maybe about this size into a socket. Okay, so you look at that relative to the size of a tooth. That is what we're putting in, say in this lower molar area here. So you take this stuff, you set it in place here, and then what we're gonna do is we're going to use this instrument here, which is a gauze packer. So this is a toothed instrument. It's got teeth on either end that will help you to kind of gently pack this down into the socket and you don't have to be using a lot of pressure you just have to get it down to where it's going to stay and once it's in there that stays there it doesn't dissolve and it doesn't go away but what happens is over time as the patient is chewing and their tongue is moving around what's going to happen is that slowly gets displaced from the socket so over time they're going to lose that so just tell them to leave it in there for a few days don't rinse over there or poke in there let it do its thing eventually it's going to come out after I've placed that, I like to put a gauze over top, sorry I didn't mention this, just to soak up the taste. So I'll have this in and just have the patient gently rest on that, which will get some of the flavor soaked up that may be leaking out from within that site. And you can take that gauze out at any time, it's just more pleasant to have it in there. Final thing is that Septodont, the maker of this stuff, says in the literature that you can place this stuff directly after a traumatic or difficult extraction. Now, I don't know that I really agree with that. Now, maybe it's safe to do that, but the patient at that point doesn't have a dry socket. So if you're putting this in to treat the symptoms of alveolar osteitis, it hasn't yet developed. So you're treating them for a condition that's not there presenting a nidus for potential bacterial colonization and other issues that may pop up from having, like I say, a foreign body in the socket. So I'd probably stay away from that. I wouldn't place it immediately. Wait until the patient has problems if they do.